Yeah. And this car has Active Aero, right? Yeah, it's got Active Aero. This man is uh, so dirty and yet the car is so clean. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, before we kick off today's video, I want to remind you that this weekend it's the Summer Drift Games Bash in Mondello Park. Tickets are available on the mondellopark.ie website. You can camp overnight, you can come party with the drifters from Ireland, see insane action across three tracks and 100 drivers. It's going to be wild and we'll have our Drift Games merch shop there as well. So don't miss out this weekend, the Summer Drift Games Bash. What's up guys, welcome to today's video. It's the Drift Games Vlog. We're here in Goodwood, the Festival of Speed. It's day... I don't know what day it is anymore, but we're gonna go find some cool cars. We want to check out about 10 cars today, and we want to give some cool features to you guys as well. So we can't show every car here because the videos will go on for 60 hours, but we're gonna try and find the ones that are most interesting to us and show them to you. So let's go. So this is an electric transit van. It's a super van. And they've done the styling like the GT40, so you can see that the wing goes through the back windows. It's not really a van at all, is it? It's the maddest van in the world, I think. It's just like... The Formula One car is What is that? What is that? That's one of our friends, I think. You can find Ahmed Daham in any crowd because he just sounds like that. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Very loud. I'm the only one that's loud over here. You're huh? making a scene. <laughs> You're making a scene, Ahmed. Um, making a scene. <laughs> Sorry. My bad. So this is uh, Ahmed Daham, carbon Kevlar, RCF, running a 2JZ, 1000 horsepower. He's just doing some tuning right now. The car is so loud. And obviously he's one of the best tuners in the Middle East, so he's giving the car a little run through. This thing is beautiful. Remember we showed you a video about six months ago of this workshop getting flooded, but luckily this wasn't there, so beautiful car. It doesn't draw much attention. Alright, so we're here with Travis Mastrana's uh, Subaru GL wagon, yep. and this is Mark, who's running the team this weekend. Yep. We have no idea, we know a lot about cars, but this is not something we're familiar with, yeah. so talk us through the interesting parts of this one. Uh, well, it's based on the 1983 GL wagon, which was the original ski team, American ski team, so we've got the similar colour scheme to what they had. It's not got many things from the GL wagon, it's got the radio, it's got a few knobs here and there, the rest of it is just Custom. Just yeah. custom, uh, the raw cage and everything is based on the WRC rally cars now, that's what cage they have. This runs a boxer engine, right? Yeah, it's a boxer engine, it's 2.3, uh, it's all cast block, cast heads, uh, all done in house at Vermont Sports Car. It's the same running gear as we had in the rally cross cars, what we've been running for two or three years. So we know it's reliable, it's yeah. well. It's got the it, biggest intake I think I've ever yeah, seen on a car. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Exhaust out the side. We, we all want yeah, noise, exhaust, don't we? Yeah, we don't want the electric, we want no. noise. <laughs> so what's the challenge with the car being so, so big, so long? Um, yeah. For the driver, I don't know. He, yeah. he, he, he seems to like this one. The other car was long. Um, so it was more of a race car. This, he can do what he wants to do yeah. with it. He's got so much control. He knows where the back end is. He knows where the front end is, he's got more control of it when we're doing the Gymkhana stuff and the stunts. 
So, uh, yeah. And this car has active aero, right? Yeah, it's got active aero. Uh, it can be done off the steering wheel on the button, or it's done off brake pressure. We can run two flaps at the front, four flaps, roof. Uh, it just depends how it's programmed and it's how they want to. Can we just go quickly through where the flaps are? Um, well, the front, when the front's on, uh, the front flaps are all here. So got there. Two yeah. the and then we've got the two at the back which come up as well and then we've got the roof one uh, the, the four flaps on the body uh, hydraulic and uh, one on the roof is air and uh, we've got the air tank and the hydraulic pump inside and the coolers and everything to keep the temperatures down so it's essentially a wild car on top of what you guys know yeah. already pretty yeah. much tried and tested yeah. rally cross yeah. set up underneath yeah. Yeah. with a kind of a funky yeah. wide body yeah. super wagon on top something with like that full carbon uh, the whole sides come off all you're left is a uh, roll cage if you wanted to yeah so hang uh, on a second so from that's not metal. that's all but everything, that's all everything carbon. Comes, the whole one piece side roof comes off so you are literally left with a roll cage. That's so, amazing. Well, Mark, thanks for showing us the yeah, car. Yeah, no worries. Awesome. Nice you. Can we take yeah. up the hill later on? Yeah. Thanks, dude. Thank you. Just want to thank one of our main partners here at Drift Games, Mobile One Oil. We're here at a motorsport event, and every single car here, well, bar the electric ones, runs on oil, and that's what keeps it reliable. All of our cars, street cars, and drift cars are kept reliable by Mobile One Oil. Check out oil.ie for their full range. So we've been looking at all these cool race cars, even. Ian Beattie is here driving from Mandela Park in one of Martin Brown's old cars. Um, there's so many people here, but I love race cars, but really, it's drift games. We love drift cars, so boys are about to take to the hill. Let's get to it. I take the whole city down with this. I take the whole city down with this. So you know the really nice Liberty Walk car? Oh, it's perfect. Absolutely spotless, yeah. Did you see what happened to it? I did. I saw it. It's absolutely milled it into the bales. So you would say if someone bought a pre-stickered kit ready to go on, <laughs> is that saying something about the driver? Yeah, I think they have a few. Do they have spares? They've got a full kit stickered up ready to go on. Look. In bubble wrap, brand new, ready to go on. With the stickers on. It was perfect. It will be again. It will be again. All right, so first run's over up the hill and a little bit of damage here and there. We're going to try and pass through. There's a lot of people here and it's only Thursday, so I'm going to try and say hello to all the drivers. They're very busy. Thanks to being a superstar here. Yeah, superstar. Can I get a signature, sir, please? Absolutely. Can I get a signature from you? Oh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> just started. That was a joke. No, no, no. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Steven. Sorry. Sorry, Steven. Yeah, yeah. sorry. It's still be good, you just hide it. I said. Do you want to do these ones as well, Steve? Yeah? yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, uh, a bit of an incident. Small bit of it. Small. Yeah. Do you have a spare body kit? Yeah, of course. Do you have a spare body kit? Of course. Which is good. So the car will be 100% again. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, thank you so much for bringing the car to Goodwood. It's amazing. Yeah. We're big fans. Yeah, we're gonna try. We got you. <laughs> so this is the owner of Liberty Walk just behind me here. Just right here. Just hanging out in the pits. 
Get your picture, go and get your picture. I'll get my picture. Get a picture. Get a picture. <laughs> you know. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can tell you nervous face then. <laughs> Still on a Liberty Walk, boys. Speak English to us on the vlog, it's nice. Oh, yeah, hello. You wanted to have fun? I did. Well, it looks sketchy. Uh, well, I think it was absolutely terrible, if I'm totally honest. No, I think it was alright. <laughs> you, did, you didn't do this much damage. No, this is very <laughs> Phil would be furious. Exactly. Furious. I don't think Phil cares, but he would say he'd be furious. I have this funny image of Phil like, ah. <laughs> I like his thing, he's on the computer watching at home, like, oh, there she goes up there. Oh, no. <laughs> also, I think I've never seen Phil furious, so I really have this funny feeling that they would be like, exactly. oh. but he doesn't care. No. He loves I'm sure, yeah. he loves For stuff. sure. So you have another two runs tomorrow? Yes, indeed. So Hopefully they move the barrels out a little bit or just slightly change Or even it. somewhere to, for the space. Yeah. That'd be nice. It was like two barrels, about four feet apart in the middle. Yeah. You're like, that's not going to work. Yeah. But it was fun. Yeah, good. Exactly. Fun. Thank Enjoy. you. See you later. Okay, so I've seen this for two days now and for absolutely nothing of it. No idea that this was special. So this is a reproduction. So this is not a, so the Subaru P1, which is a very, very famous car, making a lot of money now. This is Pro Drive's version. So this is not a Subaru P1 reimagined. This is a full chassis up build. So basically everything is brand new and it's an improved version on 19, so it's automatic. Guess the price. Yeah, so I'm not even sure the car, but yeah, so this is the car. This how, one. how much are these as they are, second hand? A P1? Yeah. I don't know, maybe 60, 70, 80,000 pounds? Yeah. It's released the price. 500,000 pounds. And they built 25 of them. They all sold this morning. Yeah, so they came on here as a stand and they were for sale and people are saying on the internet how much they probably were and you can't buy it if you wanted to. No. So you can give out about it all you want, but £500,000, they're only making 25 and they're all sold out and it's an automatic. The inside's really weird because it's got like modern touches, hasn't it? Yeah. So it's got no gear, gear knob. It's kind of like a, a BMW. Yes, it's got, yeah, it's, like it's only got one paddle. It's not like based, it's a completely new chassis. It's not a Subaru at all. No. They, they built it from scratch from their own chassis. So, so the chassis has been made up from scratch again? Yeah, but it's obviously based on the P1 or a replica of it. But it's a bit like the Singer Porsche, you know, like it looks like it's a 70s Porsche, but it's a brand new car. It's like a resto mod, but that's what that is. So it's not like based on a P1, which is really bizarre. Price of a very nice house in Dublin. We could go down this list for quite, there's quite a lot of things you could buy for 500 grand. Buy two Aventadors. I'd buy a P1 and an Aventador and then I'd be the same. <laughs> so we're here with Kev. Hi Dave. Kevin uh, retired from drifting, which means that you've got to build more drift cars. I think that's how it works, is it? Yeah, well, I love like, that. Well, Kev can justify it, but it's too long a story. It kind of goes in loops. Yeah, it takes too long. It, it takes too long. So what we're yeah, just going to yeah. do is Except the fact that he's built another monster S15. Yeah. This thing is like a brand new car. Like yeah. it looks spectacular. Yeah, we tried our best to just build the car with no second hand parts, and that's what we've done. I'd say the only second hand part is the stain rack that comes in the shell. Really? Yeah, yeah. These are all brand new, brand new, brand new yeah, yeah. everything. Yes. Like this is as I was going to say. Joe Doyle's getting to the point now at Quinn M Sport where I think he's built as many S15s as Nissan have at this stage. Yeah, we're running out of shells, so I, say, yeah. I don't know what we're going to do next. We're going to well, have you know, face on. Joe built a new Impreza over there and they sold it for £500,000, so I'm just saying. Ah, well, we'll see. New S15. <laughs> this thing is beautiful. What sort, of, what sort of horsepower? This is bigger than the other one, right? Um, on the dyno, it made about. I don't know, but 876, just to be precise, before it started to spin the wheels, and we tried our best. I would even bought new uh, Goodyear Eagle F1s and it's just still spin them up like the car. From driving a non-VVTI before now to VVTI, it's just it's getting hard to get used to because you know what I was like, you know. So this is a, another level up from the old car, even uh, though the old car was still at that uh, level. The old, the old car was still a good car, like and just as I said, the, the small things like brakes and stuff that we used 350Z brakes before, but new, new uh, case ports in the front, well wood in the rear and all that. Right? You know, we just tried our best, but everything brand new. I'm making look as good as I could, yeah. It looks unbelievable. Well, we want to do a feature here, but as you can hear, it's really loud and there's so many people around and you're busy trying to keep yeah. the car going and get it up the hill. So what we're going to do is we're going to catch up with Kevin in a couple of weeks to go through a full walkthrough of the car because it deserves it because Joe and the boys have put so I'll need to give it a clean up the weekend. Exactly. <laughs> clean? <laughs> this, is, this is dirty, by the way. <laughs> That's dirty, apparently. I can see dirt. <laughs> 
This man is uh, so dirty and yet the car is so clean. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. How it works. <laughs> All right, so as things are so busy here, you guys will know that we've been oogling over the Liberty Walk silhouette S15 with the four rotor for the last two days. However, before it was so busy, I managed to catch up with the boys from Liberty Walk and get a full look through of the car. So let's shoot to that now. What is your name, dude? Uh, Tosh. Tosh? Yeah, from Liberty Walk. Oh, from Liberty Walk, of course, national, yeah. you know. <laughs> and you know Liberty Walk over this side of the world is like yeah. the coolest <laughs> thing you. ever. I know yeah. to you it's probably normal, but <laughs> to us it's like mind-blowing. So we have to feature this car because yeah. we saw it on the internet yeah. mm -hmm. and everybody just blew their mind because oh. of the, the body kit. Because oh. it's like nothing else on an S15 before. Yeah. It's like an 80s GT yeah, car. Yeah, yeah, yes. Talk us through the idea behind the car. Oh. It's like a so, yeah, maybe 80s so racing car in Japan. Yeah. It's like a Formula Silhouette. Yeah. That way, so it's like a Silhouette car. Yeah. That way, so it's called a Liberty Oak LB Super Silhouette. Super Silhouette. Yeah. So this is harking back to the really wide body, yeah. 80s touring cars. Yeah. Huge aero. Yeah. Almost looks like a GT car, slightly Pikes Peak like yes, kind of yes, style. Yes. And like, how wide is this from the standard car? Like, how wide are these? Oh, uh, this one is uh, from uh, rear is uh, 80 centimeter. Yeah, each each one. And this is similar on the front, right? Yeah, yeah. So this is obviously an S15 drift car. This is a drift car, yeah, drift car. but w this has a very special uh, engine in this car, yeah, right? Four rotary twin turbo. Yeah. Four rotary twin turbo. Yeah. Which was to us that was the engine introduced to us by Mad Mike originally. Yeah. yeah. The craziest engine anyone's ever worked. Can we have a quick look inside? Yeah, yeah, of course. I love these uh, canards here <laughs> on the side. It's crazy. That is nuts. Wow. It looks like it's from the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. So he's going to be taking this up the hill. Yeah. And the noise is going to be incredible. So we're going to have the cameras rolling for that. So we can't um, wait. But thank you so much for showing us yeah, around the car. Thank you. We really appreciate thank you so it. Much. This thing looks amazing. Yeah, yeah it takes a. Uh, Six months to build. Six months, that's all? Yeah. You guys work fast. You work fast. <laughs> What's the horsepower of it? Uh, right now it's uh, 1,000 horsepower. 1,000 horsepower from a roadie. Gotta love Goodwood, gotta love Liberty Walk, gotta love four rotors. The kit is like crazy. There's like, compared to every other wide, uh, wide body, like look, it's just flat. Completely flat. It's so boxy. And the inside is sequential gearbox. That is just a beautiful car. But the noise is just what makes this car. We hope you guys enjoyed that little feature. It's one of our favorite cars here. Uh, we're gonna actually head to the main Liberty Walk stand where they've got some mad cars there, right down our alley. So let's head there now. Okay. We are here at the Liberty Walk stand and they have some of the coolest cars here. It's very noisy, so I'm not sure how good you can hear me. But like everything Liberty Walk do is just absolute fire. There, 458 Ferrari, it's a full carbon fiber body kit on this. It looks absolutely unbelievable. People will be sickened. So uh, this is obviously most of their cars are wide bodied on air. Stancy wheels, exactly what we like. This is the same kit that's on Bagsy's R35 GTR. I think it's amazing that this actually looks quite a bit different than Bagsy's. Yeah, it's just the color, right? His is black with a lot of graphics. This is just so bright that you can it's actually... Like street car kind of look. You can see all the lights. Like, how wide this car is compared to a standard GTR. The GTR is actually very wide up here. This McLaren, obviously another wide body. They just look so mean. It looks like Batman's daily, doesn't it? So cool. Um, I think you can talk about Batman's Daily, I think it's definitely this one. That's like next level gold. Like oh, that's a, a wide body body's a gold, but then a wide body supercar is just to cut the arches out of a supercar, to go to that level, you know, is unbelievable. And then the car that everybody's talking about at the moment is up on top. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is uh Auto Finesse's version of the Silhouette S15. We saw, obviously, on this video, the Liberty Walk one that Hibino is driving with the four-rotor. 
This is a was an X drag car, which is a lot of pace. But now it's got air, wheels, full silhouette kit. It's unbelievable. And it's also up on the roof of the container, so we can't really see it that closely, but it's a very cool display. I think it's very badass to have a car displayed up at the top of a container. So I'm just scared of how they got it up there and how they get it down. That's their problem, not ours. Yeah, we don't have to worry about that, but it is very, very cool. It's awesome. So, Liberty Walk Stand, I think, is one of my favorites here at the show. And obviously, you guys are into modified cars like we are, and these guys do it to another level. All right, guys, so we've had an amazing two and a half, three days shooting here at Goodwood. We got to see some very cool cars. We didn't show you absolutely everything because we'd be forever trying to cover all the cars that are here. Anyone that's never been, I would advise you go. It's mind blowing. Every car you've ever wanted to see in the world is here. It's too big an event to even get through in one day or two days. And they reckon there's going to be over half a million people passing through the gates over the whole event. It's an awesome time to see so many petrol heads together. We've had a blast. We hope you guys have enjoyed the content. Our next video is coming up from our Summer Bash and Drift Masters in Sweden before we head to America for Riverside Drift. It's all going off in the next couple of weeks on the channel. Make sure you subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.